Hey everybody, Rebecca Louise and Alfie here and today we've got an inner thigh and lower ab workout. It is going to be amazing, you're going to feel great afterwards, it's just 10 minutes so make sure you get through the whole thing. Now I've got some weights here, you can actually change your dog for some weights and if you don't have weights, no problem, you can just, uh, just use nothing, okay? So you can do workout both ways. So what you do is you're going to stand, okay, with a slight bend in your knees, Grab those weights if you have them, kind of just rest them a little bit lower than where your hip bones are. And we're gonna extend that leg out to the side. Okay, so you can either start with your left or right, whichever one works best for you to start with. And then we're just gonna lift up and down, okay? And I want you to touch the ground and then lift up. And have a slight tuck in that pelvis too, okay? That's gonna make sure that we're work really working that inside thigh. And we are gonna be burning, we're gonna be feeling that burn all the way through. So make sure you hashtag, I can feel the burn, Rebecca. Okay, that's it. So just lifting up and down. I'm making sure that my core is nice and tight and controlled. Okay, and what the weights are gonna do is just add a little bit of resistance. Okay, let's go for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay, we're gonna hold it up here, okay, and we're just gonna do little circles. Okay, so round you go, and then squeezing up in that waist, tucking those hips underneath, and then round those circles. Okay, we're doing backward circles. You're gonna feel it in that supporting leg too, okay? So working those calf muscles, working those hamstrings. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go over to the other side. So extending that leg out, and just up and down. Now any time that you want to drop the weights down you can, but if you've used them on the first side then you're definitely going to need to use them on the second side otherwise you're going to end up lopsided. Okay, really important guys that you just keep pushing through. It's just 10 minutes. That's no time at all. Okay, so let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Now keep it lifted up and we're going to do backward circles. That's it. So really pull up in that supporting leg, holding onto your core, making it nice and tight. That's what's going to help you keep that balance. And let's just go for another five. Whoop, you see you've got to hold up in that core. Four, three, two, one. Okay, back to the other side. Now what I want you to do is put your foot a little bit further forward. Okay, so it's kind of on a 45 degree angle and we're going to lift up and down. So it's kind of the same, but we're just changing up that angle, so mixing up those muscle groups. That's it. Squeeze those abs in nice and tight. Bring that pelvis underneath and then squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Over to the other side and let's go straight up. That's it. Squeezing up and down. Really making sure that you're using, okay, that th inside thigh muscle to pull it up. Three, two, one. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna have a nice and wide, okay? And we're gonna do a plie down and then squeeze up together. So we're gonna be working those glutes as well as those inside thighs. So you can have those weights here, so just squeeze and then tuck underneath. So you want your hips to go straight down so we're not sticking that booty back. We're going down and then squeeze. That's good, now just try and get a little bit lower for me. Keep squeezing, that's it, come on, lower. You got this guys, just keep pushing through. We're gonna be working those abs next, so let's just keep doing the last part of those inside thighs to give them the best results. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna drop down to the ground, but we need to keep hold of that weight. Okay, so lying down, make sure that weight is out of the way so you're not gonna bash into it. Okay, we're still working those inside thighs. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna come up here and then you're gonna bring your knees to touch each other. So you're keeping your hips tucked underneath and then you're squeezing, okay, your knees to touch. So they're gonna be parallel and then bringing those knees together. That's it, keep those hips tucked underneath. You really start to feel those inside thighs really burning. You got this guys. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Now, are you ready? We're going to take those legs out, okay? So you're going to keep nice and parallel, and then you're going to squeeze those legs out. That's it, so out, and you want to make it feel that you've got some resistance around there as well. Now, I'm putting my weight here. You don't have to use the weight, 
Okay, well what it's gonna do is just gonna add a little bit more, you know, a little bit more burn to your workout, and that's just gonna get you better results. Okay, so those legs go out and then squeeze together. So you almost wanna think like you've got a ball in between your legs, and you're squeezing the ball, but you can't squeeze it all the way in together because obviously you've got the ball there. So let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, coming down onto your side. Okay, we're gonna do the last set of those inner thigh workout. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate your foot out, okay? So you don't wanna be leaning back too far, but you just wanna be able to rotate your, foot, rotate your foot out, and we're just gonna lift up and down. Okay, nice and fast this time, okay? So let's just keep it going. Adding this weight here is just gonna create that more resistance. And you've got this, guys. Just keep pushing through. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay, over to the other side. Straight away, no rest. We wanna keep those muscles under tension. So up we go. That's it, squeeze that. So you wanna turn your foot out, okay? So you're almost trying to put the top of your foot to the back, and then you're squeezing up and down. Keep that chest lifted, and let's go for 10, nine, and smile. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Okay, great job. Now come down for me. We're gonna start to work on those lower abs. So keep a weight near you, okay? So we're gonna add those in if you want to. And all we're gonna do, okay, is extend those legs up to the ceiling and then we're gonna come down and then we're gonna bring one knee in and then one knee in and then we're gonna lift back up again. Okay, so if you want to, you can bring a weight and you can just hold it here, okay? So legs up to the sky. We're working those lower abs. So keep your back nice and flat onto the ground. You come all the way down. You squeeze in and in. That's it. And then take those legs up. Now you want to make sure that when you bring your legs down that your back is still staying on the ground. Okay, keeping it nice and flat. If at any time your back starts to come off the ground, then just don't lower your legs as far. So this is going to be the modified version. Okay, at a 45 degree angle. Okay, so as soon as you can, as soon as your back starts to come off the ground, that's when you want to start to bring that leg in one at a time. Okay, really working that lower pooch, guys. Let's bring it all the way up. Let's do two more. Down we go, bring that knee in. Drop that weight if you need to, but I think you can keep doing it. I think you can keep holding it. This is the last one. Legs up, down, and then bring the knee in and in. Okay, great job, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have it here, and we're just gonna go up and down. We're gonna just do this a little bit faster than usual, okay? So really working those abs. I want you to really push that back down into the ground, really squeeze. Come on guys, we're getting an incredible workout in here. Just keep going. What do you want your abs to look like? And remember, the most important thing is that abs are made in the kitchen. So if you need some help with nutrition, make sure you check out our nutrition program. It's unbelievable, you're gonna love it. You're gonna have so much more energy and you're gonna get great results. Let's go for another 10. Nine, that's it, keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, lower it down. We've just got one more minute to go. So let's really blast those abs. And what I want you to do is grab that weight, okay? And then you're gonna push through and then nice and slowly down. So up and then squeeze. You don't have to use the weight, but what it's gonna do is just gonna push you that little bit harder, it's gonna make you work, and you're gonna get better results. Let's go. Squeeze, and then nice and gently down, vertebrae by vertebrae, and pop back up again, tucking those hips underneath. Okay, let's go for five. Count with me, guys, all the way to the end. Four, and three, two, you got it, one more, there's one more in you for sure. We're gonna hold it up here and we're gonna squeeze. So just little tucks, that's it, keep that chest up, holding that weight. You got it guys, keep pushing through. This is the last part, this is when it starts to really change. Your muscles are burning, but this means that they're working and change is gonna happen. Let's go for 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then I want you to do the last static hold. Hold it up here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax those legs. Put your weight down and then come up to standing. Now make sure you really stretch out, okay? Your abs are great stretches, the Cobra stretch, or take a look at our cool down video. We've got so many more workouts for you. Make sure you check out the 2016 Workout Kickstart. You can download it straight to your computer, straight to your phone, so you don't need internet connection. It's amazing, Alfie and I have had so much fun doing it. It's 50 minutes, full body, you're gonna feel amazing. Guys, I'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, Alfie, are you ready for today? Open your eyes. Keep them awake. <laughs> it's like, it's too much. I'm going to close my eyes. That's it. Open them. You got to talk to the people. That's it. Look.